everyone and welcome to another Swift video. Okay, in this video we're going to learn how to make a quiz and um here it is. So for so you see this is a screen and um if you don't know, the red one single single bar is one of my videos, one of my pop popular videos. And um just guess how much. Let's say I guess 5000. It's wrong. Let's keep on guessing. You can 2000 is wrong too. None of the E above is wrong too. If we try this, this is correct. Okay. Well, this is currently, like at the time of this recording. So, um, yeah. Okay. You can click next, and sometimes it gives you the same question. So I'm just going to click some random answer. Gives us another question. And, um, so how many sentences does a paragraph have? I'm just gonna say like two or three if it's wrong. I'm just gonna click next. Sorry. Okay, so here we got the same question. I'm just gonna go again. Got the same question. Okay, here. Here's a new question. So, like, if the an atom with the atomic number of six, and um, if you don't know, carbon is it, and it's correct. So, click next, and we get the same question. So, you get it. Okay, I'm just gonna quit the simulator and um, open up Excel. Sorry. Okay. Um, you. I'm gonna go to File, New, Project. Or if you're at the Welcome screen, you can select Create a New Excel Project. But I'm just gonna do this because I don't have the Welcome screen, and it's pretty helpful. Okay, I'm just gonna select Single View Application. Just gonna close Quiz and. Language is Swift, and I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay? And here it is. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to deselect landscape left and landscape right. Because we don't want it, like, that way or something. Okay? And I'm just going to go to main.storyboard. First thing we're going to do, let's go to the file inspector and deselect use size classes. And I'm just going to click this, and it gives us this nice screen. That we can work with, so yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna set the background to a green color. Okay, and I'm gonna drag a label onto the center. It's gonna say, it's just gonna keep on saying, keep on saying label. I'm just gonna drag this big and wide because this is gonna be our question. We're gonna change the text through the code, so don't worry about it right now. I'm just going to set the number of lines to 3 in case the question is too long. So, or else it will be dots. So, okay. And I'm going to have four buttons. Button. So, set the, I'm going to go to the size inspector and set the width to 288. And here it is. I'm just going to copy and paste this and like this, and I'm going to copy and paste this, and just drag it up to here. Okay, and I'm going to have a label here that says if it's correct or not. It's just going to say label for now because we're going to ch usually change it through the code, and so don't worry about it right now. Okay, I'm just going to central line the text, and keep it like this. We have a button, another button that says next. Okay. And we're just going to put this here. Okay, once we have a storyboard set up, let's um, open up the editor, like which on Yosemite is is the uh, um, double circles. If you have Mavericks, it will be like a tuxedo. So look out for that. So, I'm just going to control click drag this label here, and it's going to be called question text, and it's going to be strong, okay? And I'm going to do it for these buttons, button one, or I'm going to close answer, one, and I'm going to do this for, for these. And this one, too. and these two. 
Okay, and the last one. Okay, once we have them all connected, let's connect this label too. Because as usual, we have to change it through the code. And to do that, we need to connect it as an outlet. Okay, this one's going to be result. And I'm going to have this also be one. It's the wrong spot. Oh. <coughs> Next button. Okay, click connect. And once we have all this connected, um, let's uh, close up the assistant editor and go back to the standard a standard editor. I'm gonna go to view controller at Swift and um I'm actually actually gonna actually open up the system editor. There's a few more things we need to add. Number one, these actions need to be added. Answer one pressed. Then I'm just gonna copy and paste that code to the other ones. This one's going to be an action, not an outlet. Okay. And same with this. So this one's going to be another two pressed and also an action. Okay. And do that with all the rest of the buttons. Be pressed and click connect and the last one okay so the last thing we're gonna do we're gonna have one for the next button next Question. Okay, and click connect. Okay. So let's go back to the standard editor and go to the controller at Swift. And um, here, I'm just gonna have. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna declare another variable here. It's gonna be called question number. And it's going to be a u32, u int 32, okay? And I'm just going to have it be an optional right now, but we put an exclamation mark. So we don't have to give it a value. And actually, we can set it to equal to nil. So we don't have to deal with it right now. Oh, sorry. It has to be an option for now. Okay. And in next question, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have question number equals arc for random percent sign five, okay, which is picking a random number from zero to five inclusive. So that means it's um, six values, okay. And here I'm gonna have a switch statement. Switch question number, and so here I'm gonna have a case, case zero, and I'm actually gonna have a default. Okay. And so here I'm going to put question text dot text equals what is the capital of China and I'm going to just set the button title we don't do like dot text instead we put answer one 
dot set title and the title is going to be this one is going to be Chicago it's not the right order but you are a control state dot normal okay and let's just copy and paste this code four times Okay. Enter two. Okay. And this one's going to be Beijing, which is the real capital. California. Which is definitely not it because it's a state. Last one's going to be Michigan. Again, definitely not. Okay. And just um, copy and paste this code a few times. Five more times. One, two, three, four, five seconds. Sorry. Okay, you keep on doing this, okay? And do this with every single one. done and okay complete so this is gonna be case one case two case three case four and case five okay and let's just change these I'm just gonna have random questions like one plus one and this is going to be three Two, one, this one's gonna be zero. Okay, and the next thing, this one's going to be, I'm just gonna say another math question. <coughs> two plus zero equals one, 96, which is a really random answer, and two, and one actually there's one already okay and the next question i'm just gonna call what is my name and first thing i'm gonna put is jeffrey jared which is another guy's name in in YouTube, he makes Xcode tutorials. He's like way better than me, but okay, okay, <clears throat> whatever. Uh, David, and last one is going to be Daniel or Dan. Okay, and and this one's going to be. How do what do you do when a bully comes and 
I'm just gonna go fight, which is gonna be the correct answer. Uh, cry. Rafi is gonna hurt you. If you if you cry, he's gonna hurt you more. And talk. Uh, talk is gonna be the correct answer. And this one's gonna be none of the above. And the last one, this is gonna be uh, how, who released <coughs> the Mac. And here I'm going to put um, Microsoft, which is not true. And second is going to be Apple. Okay, and third one is going to be Stanford. And last one is going to be... Uh, it's an idea. I'm just gonna try. Uh, let's see, if there's any famous companies? I think one would be Google. Okay, and that's about it. And okay, now we're gonna go on to here and. Let's see, instead of this, I'm just gonna actually cut this code. Like this. And I'm gonna have another function. Funk choose question. And copy and paste this instead of here. Self dot choose question, which is basically doing the same thing. And you're calling this method. When you're when you press the next question button, okay. And um, I'm just gonna split this video into two parts, so um, it won't be too confusing in one video because you might be some people might be a little impatient. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you see you in part two. Bye bye.